Kakariko target practice, or I have absolutely no idea how to pronounce that, but this one's pretty fun. It's the first target based one that's actually any, I wouldn't call it hard, but it has more to do than the Goron one and the, uh, whatever that first town place is called one. Oops. Yeah, you have to do this quickly to get the things to spawn. I might not even have time to pop the pumpkin. Okay, you know what? I wanted that thousand more than that. Oh, just missed. I assume that might have been the last one. Yeah, back when I was feeling like being good at the game, I used to like try to hit all the pots and barrels and stuff as I went to an area, but... Not quite that brave right now because it is very easy to miss and completely ruin your chance of getting a good score. Because after like the first two chains, you get one miss and you'll really blow a chance of getting a good score for the level. And I'm sure if you were going for like a super good score run, even like missing the center of the target would dick you over. Here's the spring where that ghost lived. A lot of stuff's going on here. Don't want to shoot those X's. I don't think they take away points, but they certainly remove your multiplier, which is more important in my book. There we go. I got a very nice score there, I think. Yeah, oops. I'm a little too good at that, I guess. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't mean to get a platinum. Oh, I'm quite wacky that way. This is pretty cool. And I swear, see I wasn't crazy guys, there are pumpkins that turn into strawberries. And it was actually in the main game, it was just like, wacky bats, flying sequence that they thought I was all crazy, but I'm not. Whoops, where did the other... Or there was some bird that did this in the regular game, and this is a reference to it, except it was on the Zora River, and I remember it. There's like a bird carrying you as a doggy and you had to pop them all or something. I don't know. I haven't played Twilight Princess in a while, but I do remember that. Whoops. Yeah, see, one thing like that ruined my chance of getting a really good score. I probably could have got a score almost as good as the first level if I hadn't lost that multiplier. I'm just gonna... I usually do this for like the combat levels that I don't care about scores in, which... Well, I don't really care about scores after I have a platinum a whole lot anyway, but... And that was still a pretty good score for me. I was getting nowhere near that in my first run. As far as I can tell, there's nothing better than platinum after that. It's basically just, like, feeling proud of yourself. I'm gonna use some bomb arrows because those are kind of fun. Always freaky sniping those guys. Yeah, sniping actually kind of throws off you. It, I mean, the arrows are almost instantaneous, but it is hard. And this is not the world's most entertaining mission, really. Most of the ones like this aren't. There aren't a whole lot that are exactly like this, but... I really like the ones where you're free to walk around wherever you want, or at least moving by default. But I'm just gonna rampage. Pow 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 pow. Why do they shoot bomb rocks at you? They're vultures. They should like throw up on you or something. I think that's what vultures do. Okay, that was really not too bad of a score, especially by like my last practice run through. Which I don't know if you saw the Baby Luigi profile because that had like all bronzes and I already got a silver and a platinum, so. Yep, anyway, next time I will be going through level 4, so stay tuned for that.